Hey everybody, it's Dick here. After a possibly misguided brainwave, after having a great day out green laning on my friend Radar's CRF 250L, I convinced, well, maybe not convinced, rather than schemed and steamrolled Fanny into letting me modify her Mutt Hilts 125 Chinese made Suzuki clone into a dual sport of sorts. It took about three weeks to collect all of the bits I wanted to add to the bike, mostly with an eye to protecting it when I inevitably fall off it. To see the specific mods I've made, have a look at the short series on my channel about the conversion. I rode down to meet Radar in Salisbury. The plan was to ride two long drove tracks over the course of a long autumn day. Unfortunately for me, Salisbury is about two hours from my house, and having never ridden them up for that long on motorways, I did not know what I should expect. In actual fact, I hadn't ever spent more than an hour or two on the mutt, so I spent the ride getting to know the little bike the best I could before I ran it through a green lane ringer. I held no high expectations for top speed or highway cruising prowess, but I learned that if I remained patient, the little bike proved that it could get me where I needed to go at a reasonable clip. I reminded myself how to draft lorries, how to position myself in traffic, and how to position myself in my lane to maximize the bike's efficiency. The bike displayed some idiosyncrasies along the way, not the least of which was the odd behavior of its speedometer. I was sure it was consistently registering my speed a solid 5 miles per hour faster than actual. When I managed to exceed 60 or 65 miles per hour, the needle started to dance between 70 and 80 miles per hour. When traveling downhill, it danced between 90 and 100. I'm certain I never exceeded 70 at my best. Despite the odd behavior of the speedo and the challenge of coaxing power out of the 125 on the motorway, I arrived in Salisbury right on time, 10 minutes late as usual, and ready to hit the trails. The part. What's that? It sounds the part. It sounds the part. <laughs> I don't see why it won't be up to it. Ground clearance, only thing. Yeah, it's low. What time? Yeah. They're, they're, they're trying to rip off of this then. Yeah, they're kind of. Uh... They're going to be just as good, aren't they? All right. Well, on the road, maybe not, but off road. They're fine on the road. Well, off road, what's the difference? Okay. It's just size, isn't it? Yeah, I didn't know if. Um... I didn't know if there needed to be something more kind of on the sidewall, but I guess it, they look pretty... <clears throat> Lower the pressures if they get slippy. Yeah, it took a long time to get down here. I, I sat behind lorries yeah, yeah. and just ducked in. Oh, I and I managed to get about 70 miles an hour. Well, quicker than that, I suppose. And Well, only, without, only okay. hiding behind the truck. Yeah. Any other time I was pinned, I was at 60. However, I was coming down a hill and I guess I reached maximum speed because the needle just went bing <laughs> to 110 or something. Yeah, you're rubbing. I'm rubbing. That's yeah, as far forward as I can go though. This is good. Yeah, it's alright. You can't argue with that, can you? Yeah. 17 quid. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I could buy for 17 quid for a Ducati, do you know what I mean? Yeah, alright. Um, I like orange, but... <laughs> you do look like you mugged a KTM. I did, yeah. Well, they were cheap. The seat was in, incredibly comfortable for the ride down. I was going to say, is it one of those that are comfy or, or feels comfy until it, you do half an no, hour? No, it's comfy. I, I, I didn't stop. It was two hours straight through and I didn't stop. Yeah, it's really light. Stand up on it, all right? Stand up, perfect. Yeah, perfect height for me. I'll probably slip off the rubber, pe the hard rubber pegs. Yeah. Did you even look? Yeah, I was looking. I just couldn't figure out the angle. I know it's. I know I've tried. I think it's the case of bringing this to like an MX shop. Yeah. Well, and then trying different ones on. There's none up there. I'm looking forward to this bad boy. Yeah, so we call it the Mutter Superior. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. I like that. 
Yeah, so I'll fill up with some gas and uh, take a leak and then... You, you mind wearing a camera today? No, I'll do it, yeah. Cool. I'll do it. You in front then. <laughs> well, I'll get some of you too, so we'll, we'll go back and forth. Yeah, it's a... Um, I'll show you on the map. The, the speed thing and I'll show you on the map. Okay. It's difficult to say about the time, how long it takes, because depends how much you stop, how much you fall off, how much... They've got to be on back to front, haven't they? Do they put them on oh, back? Yeah, they're right. Yeah, they're right. Are they? Yeah, because you see how normally. Yeah, because normally they go. Yeah, like yeah exactly. Yeah. As you question it, you put them on, you go. Oh, that's wrong. Yeah, yeah. Right. We are currently about there. So we're gonna up that one see this um this sort of red cross yeah yeah it denotes byway okay we go up past the race course so this first bit a little bit tricky well not tricky but you know bumpy and whatnot mm. and then it opens out into more or less like gravel okay all the way along there so that's, that's cool. quite a nice gravelly one and then yeah. we catch the road there and then we join back up with the ox trove so this is the um uh, I forget what it's called. Compton it's Down? Or no, it's something, or? it's something Drove, but it's not Ox Drove, it's just got a different one. And then we pick up the Ox Drove here, and then we'll, they're all the way back. That's cool. Okay. This is more technical, this one. Okay. I love the fact that we have a paper map. <laughs> I'm, old, I'm old school. Man. I am Maybe too. I, am. I, I just love paper maps and atlases. And I, I woke up this morning, I said, play me Kenny Rogers. Yeah. And I heard the most wild psychedelic Kenny Rogers sh I'd ever heard before he was like a country music star. I didn't even know he would have done that. It was awesome. You know, I'm thinking Islands in the Stream. Or yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. He has this song called the Tulsa Turnaround. Yeah. It's the dirtiest song you ever hear. Happy days. It's him screwing the mayor's daughter and being chased by sheriffs. So that, so that <laughs> is all he had when he's doing Islands in the Stream. Yeah. It's from his, his, you know, his younger days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shall we? Yeah. Here we go. It's a good start. It's a good start. Okay. Ready? <laughs> as, as ready as I'm ever going to be. Hey everybody, it's Dick here. It is the inaugural ride of the Mudder Superior Dual Sport. I got a reasonable seal of approval from Radar when he saw it. Says it looks the part. The tires weren't as worrying as he thought they were from seeing pictures of them. They're actually pretty similar to the tires he's running on his Honda. The glaring difference is <laughs> already slick the glaring difference here we go is the ground clearance and whoa we're into it oh this is fucking wet <laughs> oh dear look at the back end is already slick the back end whoa my god The back end is playing out. 
then I can't see a fucking thing. <laughs> Is he off already? That back end is. Woo! The dabbing. All the storms lately. Have made this interesting. We're just gonna be riding sideways the whole day. Any regret? Oh, just took one to the helmet. Can you feel how slippy this chalk is? It's a nightmare. I'm going sideways. Yeah. The, is your back end like kicking out? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I thought maybe the shorter wheelbase. Yeah. <laughs> um, so you can imagine what it's like by me with those hills. Oh my God. It is a fucking, honestly, it's, it's I like, like this the whole time. Yeah, well. Uh, Every now and again, when you give it a bit, it will clear the... Yeah, it's already, it's, it's already filling up, isn't it? Yeah, well, it gets, this is, it gets better. It gets more mud. It goes to gravel and then mud on the way back, rather than, this stuff is an absolute nightmare, I'll tell you. Well, at least the Honda's performing similarly with a back end kicking out. off. Well, I do like how light this is. That little dab would have been a bail on the Honda or anything bigger. Whew. I don't think standing up is, uh, I think keeping some of my fat ass weight on that back wheel is going to be a benefit. A little dab. Oh, it's slick. It's chalk is slick as shit. Slick as owl shit. Those fucking empty wilds. Hopeless. Yeah, it's been raining for about two weeks here in kind of London and South, Southern England. I did not have any expectations of dry trails. My, my uh, hopes of finding off-road pegs for the Mudder Superior has gone un successful so I am hoping that my slipping off of the pegs isn't going to be an issue today Ooh, this is slippy slippy ass Absolutely hopeless. I am going to be off today, I can tell you that.
<laughs> First little run. Oh, don't lose, don't lose your attention. Get some of the mud out of the treads if I can. Some of this gravel. There's some sort of race course here. Dragging something. What am I dragging? If you like that video and you want to see more like them, hit like, share, and subscribe.